the, where the banking cartel benefits from this partnership. We'll go back to that billion dollar check and follow it. The Treasury official deposits it into the checking account of the federal government. And immediately all the computers start to whir and the ledgers show that the government now has a billion dollar deposit, a billion dollars in its account, and so therefore it can write checks up to a billion dollars. Government checks start flowing. Let's just follow a $100 check. Make this real simple to the fellow that delivers our mail. The postal worker gets a $100 check. And he looks at this and he can't imagine in his wildest dreams that just two days ago that money didn't exist anywhere in the universe. But it's a government check now and it's very spendable. So he takes it and deposits it into his private checking account at the local commercial bank. Now this money is out of the Federal Reserve mechanism per se, out of the government side of the partnership, and it gets into the private banking side of the partnership. A hundred dollars has been deposited. And now the action heats up. The banker looks at that and he goes over to the loan window and he opens it up and he says, attention everybody, we have money to loan. And that's good news for a lot of people because that's one of the reasons we go to the bank, isn't it? To borrow money. So it's good news when there's money available. And the banker says, we have $100 deposited, but don't worry folks, we can loan you more than that. We can loan you up to $900. Well, how? How can you loan out up to $900 when you only have $100 deposited? Well, it's not difficult if you're in the Federal Reserve System. Here's how it works. The Federal Reserve says that the member banks must keep no less than 10% of their deposits in reserve. So there's $100. They keep 10% in reserve, $10. And they can loan up to $90, right? So we loan it to you, ma'am. You've borrowed $90. What do you do with it? Well, you want to spend it. So you want to write a check on it. You've deposited it into your checking account so you can write a check. In many cases, it might be put directly into your checking account. But now there's $90 deposit. In addition to the $100 that was deposited to start this chain, now we've got the $90 that was loaned as another deposit. Well, the Federal Reserve says that you only have to keep 10%. So we keep 10% of the 90 and loan the other 90%. And the person that borrows that puts it right back into the bank as another deposit. Well, the Federal Reserve says you only have to keep 10%, so you do, you know, this goes around and around and around to the revolving door until finally the whole action is played out. And the bottom line is when that $100 deposit comes in from the postal worker, the banks in essence can loan up to $900 because $100 is the reserve and that's 10% of 1,000 so they can loan the balance or the difference which is $900.